All right, this section we'll be talking about, uh, we'll refer to as sheaves and pulleys, okay? Now, you, uh, you know in, in typical air conditioning systems, you always have a, a blow wheel that forces the air throughout the circulated space. Um, and some you have uh, on exhaust fans also that may be uh, drawing air from the inside of the building and, and moving it to the outside. And some energy recovery units you have 100% outside air systems. You have blowers and uh, fans that draw outside air into the building. So every mechanical uh, air conditioning system or um, ventilation type system has a type of fan or blower uh, in, in the air handling unit or package unit, whatever the case may be. Now, um, you have two types of fans and blowers, and one is called a direct drive. And in a direct, direct drive system, you have the blower wheel actually attached to the shaft of the motor. So whatever speed or whatever RPM the motor is turning, the direct drive blower wheel will be turning the same speed, exactly the same. And on those type systems, you have multi-taps that you can tap in and change the speed, low, medium, and high. But there's no other adjustment on it uh, rather than taking the wiring and changing the wiring into a different, different speed. Now, a lot of, especially when you get it, these are mostly smaller moving air handlers, residential type, uh, oil furnaces, um, different things like that. Although you still see some of the second type we're going to discuss, which are called belt driven um, blowers. And this is a little bit different than a direct drive system. In a belt driven system, you have the, mo the motor and a shaft on the motor with a pulley or a sheave uh, attached to it. Um, for instance, this is a, a little schematic of maybe a, a, a sheave that's on a, a motor, and then you have your blow wheel that's completely separate from your motor. It has a shaft on it also, but it has a separate sheave or pulley. Now these two pulleys are attached by a belt. Now that's how the motor, the motor turns a certain RPM and then the, that uh, in turn drives the blower pulley and that's what generates the airspeed. Okay, and in, in every instance you're going to find the blower pulley smaller than the, uh, I mean the motor pulley, I'm sorry smaller than the fan or blower pulley in this instance here. Now, you also have uh, two types of uh, sheaves. You have a fixed and an, and an adjustable uh, type. And a fixed pulley, you have no adjustment on it. It has one diameter and that's, that's all you have. There is no way to increase or dec decrease the outside diameter of the uh, pulley. And the adjustable type sheave, there is an adjustment on it to where you can um, dial in or out the outside of the pulley itself, which increases or decreases the diameter, outside diameter of the pulley, which in a sense makes the pulley larger or smaller without having to completely change the pulley out with a different one. So that's called an adjustable sheave. You can actually adjust the diameter of it. And it changes where the belt rides on it, either higher or lower. And you dial it in or out to change your airspeed. Um, we have what we refer to on belt driven systems as a pulley ratio. And this is, a, um, this is how you calculate that. And we write PD and all that means is pitch, is pitch diameter. And all that, all that simply means is, is the outside diameter of the, of the pulley or the sheave. So the calculation to come up with the pulley ratio is pitch diameter of the fan divided by the pitch diameter of the motor would give you the pulley ratio. So if for an example here, if you've got a fan diameter pulley of, a, of six inches and you've got a pitch diameter of a motor of two inches, then you just simply divide and come up with three so the ratio would be three to one because six would be three times two. Um, so it would be a three to one pulley ratio. So that's a simple calculation that you do for that. Now the important thing to remember is on um, these motor and blower sheaves, you have to remember that if you increase the diameter of the 
motor pulley, you will increase the speed of the fan. Naturally, if they are both the same size, the blower will be turning the same RPM as the motor. The exact opposite happens on the blower wheel. Okay? If you increase the size of this blower wheel, you will decrease the, the amount of air that your CFM or cubic feet per minute that your fan is actually blowing. What you have is a, um, a, a proportional, a, a inverse proportional um, calculation that you use for, in other words, if, I, if this motor, if this sheave on the blower was a three inch diameter, and it was moving 1,000 CFM. And we increased this blower pulley from three to six inches. We would cut our CFM in half. So we would go from 1,000 CFM to 500 CFM by doubling the size of this sheath. Okay, now, since we're talking about fan speed, there's a relationship, direct relationship, between uh, the pulley diameters and the RPMs. So this is a calculation here to try to find out if you know three of these and you want to find out the remaining factor then you can use this formula here and it's a simple equality equation here. Um, the RPM of the fan over the RPM of the motor is equal to the pitch diameter of the motor over the pitch diameter of the fan. Now using this calculation you would just fill in uh, what you know and put an X where you don't know it and you simply cross multiply and then divide and that will come up with your 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 answer. Using an example here, if we've got a RPM of a fan of a thousand and we've got the RPM of the motor is 1800 and we know the pitch diameter of the motor is four but we don't know the pitch diameter of the fan so we put an X here so all we're going to simply do is cross multiply and divide to find out what that pitch diameter of the fan is. So 1800 divided by 4 cross multiply, uh, t I'm sorry, 1800 times 4 divided by 1000 is going to give us 7.2. So that would be the pitch diameter of the fan. 